Assalamu alaikum everybody, Simla Bah Sayyid Ahmed back again with another YouTube video. And so today's YouTube video, guys, it's going to be a sit down and talk video. We are not going to go on the charts. It's going to be completely just filled with trading psychology advice. Because trading psychology, guys, is one of the most important parts of trading. I mean, uh, I always say this every single video, guys. No one ever believes me because trading psychology is not the sexy part of trading. Okay, the sexy part of trading is making like 100 bucks a day or like actually placing trades. But trading psychology does not get that sort of love, but it is the most important. Now, before we get into this video, guys, make sure to like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, if you're interested, Discord link down below, brokers I recommend down below, guys. In the Discord, you'll watch me trade live. Look at my exact entries and exits. Of course, it is not financial advice, but you do get it. So again, like you over here, you can see. Um, okay, I don't know why it's not. Uh, anyways, over here, you'll see, like I get my signals, bam, winning trade. I mean, TP smash, you get every single trade that I took, the signals, the entries, the exits, everything. Now, again, if you're interested, down below. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video, guys, is I made $910 in one day. Isn't that crazy, guys? $910 in one day. I mean, talking about it right now seems kind of crazy because, you know, I started day trading when I was 16. I'm 21 now. So I've been doing this for a while. A lot longer than any of you watching this video, right? And when I first started, guys, I just looking back at my journey, I know that I know now how much I didn't know. And I know now how much how confident I was. And every single time that I thought that I was getting closer to becoming profitable to actually making money, the market would just humble me so quickly. It would tell me like, no, you're not even close, dude. You don't know what you're doing. And I remember just those days where I used to just think, am I ever going to make it? Those that was a very real thought. I genuinely and again, guys. I'm a very confident person. I'm very confident in my abilities. Mashallah say, I was always a smart kid. I graduated top four in high school, guys. I don't even study for college classes. I'm still in college, by the way, guys. I don't even study for college in any of my tests. And I still have a, like, A plus GPA. A, not an A plus, an A G, GPA or like an A minus. I don't know what it is. I know it's high though, right? I was always good in school. I was always good at everything. Sports, mashallah say, I'm a pretty athletic person. And I was always confident. And the one, one reason for my confidence was Allah, right? God, I'm a very religious person, guys. I'm Muslim, in case you can't tell by me saying assalamu alaikum every single video and consistently saying inshallah, mashallah, right? But I'm Muslim. And the reason for my confidence was I always knew that Allah had my back. I always knew that if I prayed for something and if it was good for me, Allah me would give it to me. And if he didn't give it to me, he would replace it with something better, right? But in day trading, was just like so difficult for me. It was so difficult to comprehend. And that hit my ego because of the fact that I was always good at everything. It didn't take a lot of effort for me to be good at stuff. I'm not saying I was the best at everything, but I could compete with good people. I was always at the top, right? And day trading wasn't like that. And I know all of you guys are probably going through that, right? And you're probably like, okay, I, I can become a profitable trader in six months. I can start making money within a year. And you're not going to. Unfortunately, guys, day trading is not that simple. I wish it was. I wish it was because right now I'd be a billionaire if day trading was that simple, but it's not, unfortunately. And the point of all this to be that all those journey, all my entire journey, guys, all the hardships that I faced going through this, all those like hours that I sacrificed, lost sleep, worsening health, stress, crying because I literally can't make it and I think I'm just going to be a failure for the rest of my life. I finally got to a point and in trading, guys, you're never going to be 100% confident, right? You're never going to be 100% confident. You're always going to have those moments where you think you're not a good trader. I was going through that in the first two weeks of September because my strategy wasn't working that well. And I just started the Discord too. And people were just starting to join the Discord. And I was like, God, I really hope that I don't mess up for these people because I really don't want them to know that. I, I really don't want them to think that I'm a failure. Because even though I was a profitable trader, that's always going to happen to you. But thankfully now, in the last couple of months, I've really started to like tell myself like, hey, you are profitable. You do make money trading. You do do that. Like it's it's real, right? And stuff's going to happen. You're going to have bad periods, but over the long run, you are making money. And so when I made that $910, that was the biggest day that I've ever had. Almost a thousand. It would have been so cool if I hit that thousand, you know, but I didn't. It's fine. And when I made that, I was just thinking like, how do I feel about this? After all the journey that I've been through, after all the hardships, after what I suffered, I mean, I grew up in poverty. Right. And, you know, my parents didn't support trading, guys. Just to give you a little, I don't want to talk too much about my background, but my parents didn't support me trading. I'm Pakistani, guys. So you already know that they all they care about is an education. They don't really like entrepreneurship. Trading is too risky. Entrepreneurship business is too risky. So I've just been doing this myself. I had no mentor. I had no help. No one gave me money. No one gave me anything. 
it's just been me. And I made $910 in a day. That's more money than some people make in a month, right? That's more money than most people make in a week. I know that for a fact. And I just couldn't believe it. But on the flip side of things, my mindset was just, thank Allah Mia for everything, right? Allah ko shukar sir. I'm thankful for everything that I have, but I just have to keep pushing forward. And I know some of you guys are thinking, what the heck? Like, this is validation that you've done something. $910 in a day, almost $1,000 in a day is crazy. The richest people in the world make that type of money, and you did it. And you're right. But I'm coming here to say, the point of this entire video is that this is the mindset you need when it comes to being a successful, successful trader. You kind of have to be stoic and emotionless in a sense. I don't want to say actually emotionless. I want to say that you can feel emotions, but you can't act on them. So obviously I was happy, but I knew that that's it. I just have to show up the next day and trade again. I have to show up the next week and trade again. And next week I might lose $500 in a day. Next week I make, I might break through that. I might make $1,200 in a day. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. But you can feel emotions. You just can't act on them. Guys. So when you become a better trader, when you actually start to make money consistently, you'll notice that you get excited. You notice that you get happy. You're thankful for your journey. You're thankful for everything you've accomplished so far, so far but you don't actually do anything. Right? It's $910. I'm not going out there celebrating, guys. I'm not like, woo. I'm not like dancing. I'm not bragging about it. It's just cool. I made this money. I'm happy. Let's move on. And you guys might be wondering, what the heck? Like, shouldn't you celebrate your win? And shouldn't you do this? Shouldn't you do that? But this is the mindset you need because when it comes to losing, when it comes to losing a lot of money, if you can develop this mindset, then you're not going to get affected by the losses. Okay? So, I've lost $250 in a trade before. I've lost $500 in a day. Okay. So you guys might see this almost a thousand dollar win. And then one day you're like, damn, I wish that was me. Could you handle losing $500 in a day? Ask yourself this, be honest. Because if I was in your shoes, right? My first year of trading and I lost $500 in a day, I could not handle that. I'll say, I'll be completely honest. I couldn't handle it the second year of trading ever. The third year probably, right? And I'm coming up on four years of trading. But to make that sort of money that I'm making, I have to risk a lot more. And I know for a fact that, hey, sometimes I'm going to lose $250. Sometimes I'm going to lose $500. Sometimes I'm going to make $500. Okay. And that's just what trading is. And so because I've detached myself from money, I can see my wins and I can see my losses and I can experience them and I can say, you know what? That sucks. Or I can say, you know what? That's amazing. Alhamdulillah. But I'm not going to allow it to affect me too much. So while I made my biggest day trading, and of course I'm happy about that, my mindset is, hey, thank you, Allah, for everything. Thank you, me, for continuing to trade. This is fantastic. But I'm just going to keep on trading. Time to move on. Okay, so in order to continue to become a good trader, to go on that journey, right, you have to detach yourself from money. And that means detaching yourself from winning as well. That means detaching yourself from money and making win money and losing money on both sides of the spectrum because you can't just do one. You can't just detach yourself from losing trades and celebrate the winning trades. Okay? I just want you to know that. So I was getting DMs. I was like, yo, yo, biggest trade. Like, what the heck? How, how do you feel? How do you feel? And I just want you to know that like, yeah, I'm a happy, but I don't care. And I can be thankful and not care at the very same time. And you as a day trader, if you want to get to this point where you can make $1,000 in a day, you have to be able to not care. And it might sound crazy to you now, because I know a lot of you guys are thinking that $1,000 in one day, making that sort of money can change your life. And it can change my life, guys. Okay? It can change everybody's lives. And don't think I'm not thankful. But again, the mindset you have to have is this is great. Time to move on. This is great. Time to move on. And I'll have the same exact mindset when I make 10K in a day. I'll have the same, inshallah, when I make 100K in a day, inshallah. All these days, guys, this is great. I have to move on. Because guess what, guys? I can lose it tomorrow when I start trading or next week when I start trading, right? If I lose four trades in a row, which my strategy has done this year, right? It's done it in the past. There goes my profits. And it's possible, right? So you don't have to be too, don't get too attached to the money. Because now if you're attached to the money, if you're attached to making $1,000 in a day, and now I just lost all the money that I made, I'm going to be kicking myself in the butt. I'm going to be screaming. I'm going to be angry. That's going to affect my trading, right? It's going to affect your trading. You're going to start, I'm going to start making bad decisions. I'm not going to do the right thing. 
So again, guys, you have to detach yourself from money. That's the point of this video. I caught you guys, right? I mean, the clickbait title and everything, right? Clickbait of how I reacted to making a thousand dollars a day, bro. Again, it's cool. It's nice. But you have to detach yourself from money. I hope you guys can understand the bigger message of this video without like just commenting and be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. This guy's just like, he's on grade four, four, whatever. I hope you guys actually understand what I'm trying to say. I hope you guys understand why I told you a little bit about my journey and why it means so much to make that thousand dollars in a day, but still have to tell yourself to move on and not care. I hope you guys actually understand that and understand the message of this video. And I hope I did a good job actually talking about it, but that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys like this video. I really like talking about trading psychology because a lot of people don't talk about it because it's not sexy. It doesn't get views, but I'm here to help you guys. I don't have that many subscribers. I don't have that many views, but it's okay. One day I'll get there. Inshallah. I know that if I just make good content, it'll get there. And I know that this content is helping people. So even though I might not get a lot of views, I'd rather help people than, you know, talk about my day in the life, which does, isn't going to do anything for you guys. And in fact, I might start making those sort of videos too, just because I know some people do like them, but I'd much rather focus on the content that helps people. That being said, guys, that's it for this video. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. Allah